Hello, three commas traders. My name is Jared, and I'm a three commas representative. In this video, I'll be going over the trading terminal to help you understand how it works and how to make your very own trade in this section. We've made some significant updates to three commas and its tools and thought it would be a great idea to review this section in detail. Without further delay, let's get right into this. All right, now that we're on three commas, to get to the trading terminal, all you got to do is go to the left side and click on the terminal button. The trading terminal is a section on three commas you can use to make simple, quick trades. If the tools offered on three commas are not necessary for the trade you're attempting to make, you can use this section to quickly make this trade. For example, let's say I have a trade I'd like to make, but I am unable to make any more smart trades due to the limitations of my plan. Or I just want this trade to be placed and closed separately to avoid using all my allowed smart trades, since it doesn't need the three commas trading tools. I can quickly make a trade and let it run without it affecting the number of smart trades I've made. All right, so let's get into this. The first option up here is the exchange you're working with. So I only have Kraken selected on this account, so we're gonna use Kraken. For the market option, we're gonna have it as USD. This is because we are using the pair one inch slash USD and one inch is only available in USD. Reset layout will reset the layout of the page that you're working on. So let's say I just had it like this. I can click reset layout and it will put it back to where it was. Three dots will allow you to enable and disable each of these windows if you don't wanna see them or if you wanna see them. Without further delay, let's get right into the example. So first off, we're gonna start out by making a purchase order. We're gonna to wanna to buy more one inch. That's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna click purchase. Um, we want this to be a limit order because we want it to purchase at a price that I would like it to purchase at. So I think it might reverse back to 0.24. So I can put 0.24. The units must be greater than zero. And we're not going to worry about the units in the total. We're just gonna go ahead and select 25%. So what this will do is it will fill out this information by using 25% of my available USD. You can also enter the units manually if you'd like and the total amount of USD. Whatever you enter will affect the other section. So there we are. We have a little order we'd like to place. It's a limit order. So we're going to go ahead and click buy. And we're going to click confirm. And there we are, we have the order down here and it will go ahead and make the purchase once the price hits that value. So we'll go over this section down here in a moment, but first let's go over the ask price, the bid price, and the charts. So the bid price would be the highest price that a trader making a purchase is willing to pay for a given token. In this example, it would be one inch. The ask price on the other hand is the lowest price that another trader selling the token is willing to accept for the same asset. If you'd like to see more of the ask price values, you can click the drop down arrow and select a higher value and it will show you that amount. If you'd like to only see the ask price, only see the bid price or see both, you can do so by clicking these three options on the left side. Moving on to the chart, you can see that this is a trading view chart. We have a video in the description if you'd like to learn more on how to use a trading view chart. We also have some articles that will help you use the trading view chart to your advantage. Just to show you though, you can measure the amounts, you can draw lines, you can type, and much more. You can also remove the drawings by clicking the trash can. All right, now that we got all that out of the way, let's go down to this section. So here is the coin. We're using one inch slash USD. We already know that because we just made this trade. It's going to be a purchase. It's trying to purchase one inch, so that is the side. The size of the order would be 83.3 repeated 1 inch, or about 20 USD. This is good till cancelled, which is the order type. The order price is how much I wanted to purchase the token for, which is 0.24. The trigger price is not an option here. The order options is not an option here. Creation date, this shows the date that this was created. Group will allow you to add this trade to a group in order to be more organized. And then actions are, well, actions for the trade. You can cancel, you can open the trade now, or you could refresh the trade. Open now would just instantly purchase one inch. Cancel would not purchase one inch. 
Trade history will show the history of all the trades you've made. This is a test account. It does not have any trades on it. And then account portfolio will show you what you have currently in your account. And that's going to wrap up the trading terminal on three commas. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment. We have placed a bunch of helpful articles in the description, so make sure to check those out. Thanks for watching and happy trading.